What is going on everybody, Zionic here, and in the last like 24, 48 hours, we had two huge news drops about Pokemon that are coming to Pokemon Go, but specifically I think they might be good for Go Battle League. First up, we got Galarian Zigzagoon Community Day for the month of August from August 13th, or not from August 13th, on Saturday, August 13th from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. your local time. Galarian Zigzagoon with a really cool shiny. If you evolve it to Obstagoon, which is already very good for Pokemon Go Battle League in both the Great League and the Ultra League. It's already a solid Pokemon, so this is going to be a great chance for you guys to get good PvP IVs. But when you guys evolve it, it's going to be getting the charge move of Obstruct. Now, we don't know how much energy it is going to cost, but we know how much damage it is going to do. It's going to do 15 power, and it is guaranteed to increase Obstacoon's defense while lowering the opponent's defense. What I think this is going to be is a better version of Power Up Punch. If you guys think about Power Up Punch, it's very low damage, low energy, guarantees to increase your attack. Well... When it comes to defenses, lowering your opponent's defense is the same thing as increasing your own attack. You guys following me here? But on top of that, you are also going to increase your defense. I think this is going to be a big player for Ultra League where there's a lot more health um, available and defenses available on Obstagoon. I think that's where it's going to come in. As for its other move sets, seeing that this is going to be a dark type move, it could directly replace Night Slash and then you could run something else, Cross Chop, Hyper Beam, Gunk Shot, etc. in the Ultra League. In the Great League, I'm not sure how well this is going to do, but I do know that Night Slash, it already has good movesets, that Night Slash might be the better pick for Great League. Now, we're going to have to wait to see what PV Poke simulations say when the move is available to um, basically simulate. When we do find that out, we're going to let you guys know. Now, this event is also going to be three times catch Stardust, which is huge. You'll love to see it. A good Pokemon for Go Battle League with three times Stardust and a beautiful shiny. It's the triple effect when it comes to Community Day outside of a super awesome Pokemon. Now, if that wasn't good enough, we also have the Hisuian event. So from Wednesday, July 27th, 10 a.m. to Tuesday, August 2nd, 8 p.m. local time, we are going to be having an Hisuian event. We're going to see Hisuian Growlithe, Hisuian Quillfish, and Sneasel. Now, when it comes to their evolutions for Arcanine, um, and Weavile, when it comes to the Great League and PvP and other leagues, we don't know just yet. We don't know what moves they have, so we're not going to dive into that until we get the moves. Once we get the moves, I'll do an updated video for you guys so you guys can know um, what's what the, if they're going to be good or not, but you guys definitely want to catch them as of right now. When it comes to the wild encounters, we have a good spread right here. Some Pokemon I would definitely suggest if you guys don't have a good PvP IV Golbat for Great League, Farming Zubats is going to be nice. Um, also, Tangaroth, so the Tangela spawn. Tangaroth for the Ultra League. We also have Drifblim um, from Drifloon for Great League and Toxicroak as well. Now, when it comes to the raids, nothing notable or too notable, I would say, for Go Battle League um, outside of if you really want to go for that Chansey. I mean, I guess now is your time. Um, but I, I wouldn't suggest spending all that money to on raid passes for Chansey. Um, when it comes to the eggs, we're going to see all the Hisuian Pokemon come from that. So that's going to be a great way to guarantee that you guys can get those Pokemon. So what I would suggest is clearing out your 7km eggs before the event. Once the event happens, open those gifts or ask your friends to send you those gifts once the event starts. That way you can get those eggs. When it comes to special research, we have a few good Pokemon here for Go Battle League. Clefairy, um, Magnum. Might. We also have this Sneasel as well um, for extra candy in case you need that for the Hisuian form. Um, we also have Mantine, Trash Cloak, Burmy is also very strong in the Great League. And outside of that, it's nothing too special. Now, we're also going to have the Hisui Cup, which is going to be in the Great League. And the only Pokemon first discovered in the Hisui region will be allowed. So it's just going to be those four Pokemon. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It's not going to be the four Pokemon. It's going to be Pokedex number 387 to Pokedex number 493. Now, this isn't on PV Poke just yet. Again, when it is, we will talk about it. It's the moral of the story for today. There was a lot of information dropped. So once PV Poke catches up, gets all this information out there for us, we will make a full deep dive guide to make sure you guys focus on the right Pokemon for Go Battle League. And 
As you guys know, every Pokemon is one update away, so be sure to always save those PvP IVs. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know what event you guys are most excited for, the Community Day or the Hisuian event. Me personally, I think I like the Hisuian event. I think they're very cool Pokemon. I love the Growlithe and Arcanine. They're arguably one of the coolest um, twists when it comes to different regions of Pokemon. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. So like always, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.